Hey, we're out here in Arizona on a farm. We have Sierra as our model, and uh, we are going to demonstrate the value of high-speed sync on the B2 and the B1 heads. Uh, just to show you what we have here, we have two B2 heads uh, here lighting Sierra. One is lighting her uh, dress, the other one's lighting her face. Um, and then we have a B1 head in the back as a hair light. So we're going to use those lights. The first thing we're going to do is turn them off and show you what it's like with just a purely ambient exposure. Um, so let me do that first. All right, you ready, Sierra? Okay. And go. Nice. Great. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get that flip of the hair so that it looks like she's in motion. Um, but we want to kind of freeze things. And you'll see that when we show you the shot here, uh, there's a lot of motion to that because we're at a slower shutter speed. We could speed that up and freeze her as well, but the, the thing that you'll notice about this shot is no matter what we do, whether we get motion or whether we uh, freeze it, that sky is blowing out because she's in shadow. And so we're going to turn on the flashes now, but we're going to keep it under the sync speed so that you can see what we get with flashes and motion. So let's do that. You ready, Sierra? Okay, I'm just going to turn on our heads from here. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one, go. Very nice. Great. So you can see now with that shot that we get the sky in and we get the, uh, we freeze her pretty well because the, the pro photos have a pretty short flash duration. So her face gets frozen, but all the real rapid motion is still moving and gets blurred. And so as a result, we can't really freeze the flowers, we can't really freeze the hair, and sometimes we can't even freeze the, the face and the eyes. So we want to get above the sync speed, which is in most cases 200 or uh, 1 to 50th of a second. So now we're going to take this all the way up into the 2500, uh, 2500 of a second range. So let's do that and you're going to see a big difference in the way that we can freeze things. So we just have to adjust our settings here. First we're going to turn this on high speed sync from the head and we're going to bring this up to 2500, uh, 2500 of a second. Uh, we're going to change the, the ambient exposure just a little bit to deal with that change and then we're going to fire. And are you ready Sierra? go. So when you compare the images, you've got the first one which is ambient and you lose the sky. The second one, we employ the flashes so we can bring the sky down and get, get our exposures correct. We light her up and we're able to drop the ambient exposure down and we get that but we get a little bit motion as she's moving. And the third, in high speed sync mode, we have the ability to completely freeze her and her hair and the flowers and still get all of the beautiful ambient exposure that we want, get the, that dramatic blue sky, uh, it's perfect. So it's not that one is better than the other. Sometimes you want motion and sometimes you don't. It's nice to have in your kit a flash that can freeze things at high speed sync. It's also nice to have some, something in your bag that when you're under the sync speed, you still have that really short flash duration that helps to freeze things as well.